Hey Taurus, Dana here, Deep Thoughts with Dana, and this is a, um, a monthly bonus, an October bonus, because I have been so delinquent in my um, postings on YouTube, right? I've just been extremely busy. I've had three different clients fly me to three different parts of the country to do private tarot card readings for them. And um, I have just life going on. I've just been so so busy. So please forgive me that I haven't been as attentive as I should be to my Taurus tribe, okay? I love you guys. I am Taurus, as most of you know. If you're new to this channel, welcome to the channel. My name is Dana. I am a Taurus sun, Pisces moon, Pisces rising, and Pisces Venus. Um, my tarot is very direct and to the point. And as everybody else who knows me out there, recognizes that I um, am a huge advocate of not putting much faith in a general tarot card reading as much as it may resonate with you. Everybody's journey is different and these tarot card readings when they're really done in, in real life in person oftentimes turn out very very different than what the general thread is that's going through YouTube tarot. Okay? Okay, general readings. So that being said, this is not a personal reading for you. This is a general reading for the collective of Taurus. You may or may not see yourself someplace in this reading. If you do or if you don't, I highly recommend that you get a personal tarot card reading. You can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com, link in the box below, or go to your favorite tarot card reader. I don't care who it is, as long as you trust them to read your cards um, and get a personal tarot card reading to get real insight, wisdom, validation, understanding, and direction. Okay. All right, Taurus, this is a big one. This is a big one. My nose is itching already, Taurus. <clears throat> All right. Ready? Here we go. Um, again, this could apply to love. It could apply to any relationship in your life. It could apply to work, career, family, um, anything at all. Okay. So where it resonates with you is where it belongs. Okay. All right. So Taurus, Taurus, yeah, Taurus, 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 Taurus. Oh, and I swear if you don't like that, if you're new to this channel and you don't like it, you might want to leave right now because I do throw down some F-bombs from time to time. So word. All right, Taurus, you open this reading dun, 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 with the Knight of Cups to the Lover's card. Okay. So there, the Knight of Cups is a card about somebody who is in touch with their emotions and their intuition. So in touch that they are prepared to express them to someone else. Okay about love, about the lover's card, right? This is about a love relationship. This is about aligning, balancing, and choices, okay? So if you are not in, in down for a love relationship, you can put this lover's card into the box of choices. So somebody is prepared to share their emotions with you, and it has to do with either a love relationship or some kind of a very important choice that you need to make in your life. Clarified by the High Priestess. This is being withdrawn and disconnected, right? Withdrawn and disconnected. Okay, withdrawn and disconnected to the Eight of Wands, communication, and the Eight of Swords. Throws you up in your head for a minute, right? I mean, it's like, what? What, 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 what? Eight of Swords, the initial energy of the Eight of Swords is um, a little bit of panic, right? Because, I mean, look at her. She's all tied up and she's she's in the middle of nowhere, right? If she stays like this, she's going to be coyote bait when the sun goes down. So her initial reaction is panic. Oh, my God. What do I do? What do I do? But eights, no matter what sign it's attached to, um, and the swords being air, of course. No matter what sign it's attached to, eights are about movement, change, and action, right? So initially, she's all freaked out, but she starts to come to her senses and starts to think about what she can do to change her situation, 
right? What can she do? What kind of movement can she take? What kind of action can she take to actually change her situation? So that's the initial, the initial um, response when this communication comes through. Let's reiterate one more time. We have somebody who is in touch with their emotions and their intuition, willing to share them with you. Could be about some kind of love situation. The high priestess says that this is you get that you are disconnected from this person that's sharing their emotions. You are disconnected from them at the moment. There is no communication. There is no interaction, right? It just comes out of the blue. What comes out of the blue? Communication with the eight of wands. This is communication about an energetic shift in a relationship, whether it be love or not. It's an energetic shift in some kind of, you're, 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 you are asked to, to, to make a decision and a choice. Somebody's going to share their emotions. You need to make a decision or a choice about a significant relationship in your life. You're disconnected from this person, from this situation at the current, right? It just comes out of nowhere. Eight of Wands, here it comes. This is about action, movement, swift change, an energetic shift, right? Communication comes out of nowhere saying, hey, I have feelings that I want to talk to you about. Your initial reaction is the Eight of Swords. It's like, what? 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 Right? It might even take you a minute to answer a text message or to, or to return a phone call because you're like, what do I do? What is this about? Right? But then you begin to understand how it is that you need to proceed forward. And that's how everything starts. Boom. Then we have the four of discs. In this deck, it's called power, right? You have some power. This person's communication with you, the sharing of their emotions with you, gives you power. What is power clarified by? Well, we got a story. Power is clarified by the Ace of Cups, right? This brings a certain amount of control to your emotions. Ace of Cups is about creation. It's about a new beginning in, in creation, in emotions, in love. Okay. It's also about overwhelming emotions. So perhaps at first, maybe you have overwhelming emotions, but the power is in the fact that you are emotionally satisfied by the communication that's come in to the Prince of Discs, the Prince of Pentacles. This has been a long time coming. Like I said, you know, over here with the High Priestess in reverse, you're disconnected from this situation. It's like out of sight, out of mind, just not even happening, right? And then boom, out of nowhere, here comes communication about feelings, okay? Long time coming with the Prince of Pentacles, slow energy. Why is this slow energy? Because his job is to survey the kingdom. His job is to walk the kingdom all day, every day, making sure everybody's working, the crops are growing, the fences are tight, everybody has their resources. His job is to orchestrate the growing of the kingdom. And it's an all day job. That's why it's slow energy. So it's been a long time coming, right? Came out of nowhere. Death. Boom. You thought that, th that this was dead, right? There was an end to this. It's dead. It's not even something that you even think about, right? But now there is change and transformation being presented to you, Taurus. Seven of Wands, right? This is a challenge. This is a challenge in your mental. It's a challenge because something that was dead and gone is now all of a sudden somebody's trying to share their emotions with you. The alchemist in reverse. This is about, this is about manipulation and untapped talents, okay? So I think some of this communication that's coming into you um, tells you, Taurus, perhaps um, 
Hold on. Let me let me get this. Let me get this. Okay, this communication that comes into you, I think, is telling you that I didn't appreciate you before, but now I do. Okay, I've had some kind of transformation start card of scorpio i've had some kind of transformation i want to transform this relationship i want to change what has been dead and and gone in the past right i want to change what's been dead and gone in the past it's a challenge right because they're telling you that that perhaps um they understand maybe apologizing for um, not appreciating you in the past, but you, Taurus, feel like there's a little bit of emotional manipulation going on here, right? You're not 100% okay with this communication that's coming in. You're skeptical, right? Giving it the old fish eye, <laughs> right? You're not real sure about it. And the hermit in reverse talks about being withdrawn and disconnected, right? Um, there's nothing happening here. And this communication about feelings just comes out of nowhere and it blows your mind. Princess of Swords in reverse. Oh, really, bro? Hmm. You know, all I can remember from the past you know, now that you're telling me that, uh, you know, you appreciate my untapped talents, that you see my value now, right? But all I remember from you in the past, bro, is the Princess of Swords in reverse. All talk, no action, and undelivered promises. That's all I remember about you and me from before. All I remember is your bullshit. That's all I remember. All I remember is having to get the hell out of Dodge and, and take a regretful but necessary transition into calmer waters because there was all talk, no action, and I had to separate myself from that situation. In the Two of Cups in reverse, all I remember is there was a huge misalignment of values between you and I. We were not on the same page. I had to get the hell out of Dodge, and all you fed me was a bunch of bullshit. So, you know, excuse me if I'm withdrawal and withdrawn and disconnected. You know, excuse me if I think that this is a bit of a challenge for me to wrap my mind around. Excuse me if I'm not all jumping on board for this personal transformation, this transformation of the situation. Excuse me if I'm not really buying your whole personal transformation thing here. And excuse me if I think you're manipulating my emotions just a little bit. Give me a chance. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. Everything will turn out lovely. It's a song. Give me a minute, right? Give me a minute. And this is where your power comes from, right? Your power is in that you fully recognize and accept what this used to be. And you're not real sure if it's really changed. What's on the table, though, is happiness, right? If you can work this out with this person, if you can come to terms with whatever's gone on in the past between the two of you, there's happiness to be had, right? There is. There's happiness to be had. Prince of Cups again. Somebody is sharing their emotions with you, okay? Somebody is, is, is bringing you, it's the Princess of Cups, somebody is bringing you a message of creation, Taurus, let's recreate this whole thing. Let's do this again. Let's give it a go. I've changed. I appreciate who you are now. And I want a transformation of this relationship. And the Six of Wands. I want public recognition, victory, progress, and success with you. What? 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 Right? To the moon. There's old Taurus, right? In the moon energy. 
Taurus in the Taurus in the moon energy, right? Dealing, struggling with your subconscious mind. Fear, anxiety, struggling with your subconscious mind. To the star in reverse. You have a lack of faith in this relationship. And quite frankly, maybe even um, a lack of self-trust. Maybe you just don't trust yourself because perhaps your feelings um, are being rekindled right but your logic and your reasoning says no 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 right star in reverse king of cups in reverse emotional volatility emotional manipulation right not really you're just being just confused like i just said with the star in reverse not really trusting yourself right not really trusting yourself to the Ten of Swords in reverse. This has been dead for a minute. It has been dead for a minute. A good long minute. A, a Texas minute, right? And a Southern minute. Those are long minutes, right? To the Empress in reverse. There is a creative block. There has nothing, zero, has been being created between the two of you and God knows how long, right? And God knows how long. And Taurus is just all up in the moon energy going, oh my God, right? This is, this is, this is unreal. This is unreal. To the seven of cups, right? Confusion, anxiety, no. Confusion, choices, options, wishful thinking, illusion, fantasy, right? This, can this ever really work? Can this ever really happen? I don't know about all this. I just don't know about all this. Just don't know about all this. But there is action oriented communication coming into you. This is the same communication as that Eight of Wands in the first set of cards, right? Action oriented communication is coming into you. To the Five of Swords in reverse, saying, Taurus, let's be open to change let's bury the past resentment between us and let's be open to change let's at least explore the possibility that we can come together again and create a ten of cups have harmony this time right instead of misalignments and broken homes and broken marriages and broken hearts let's let's try let's let's forgive the past let's be open to change and let's let's i i think taurus i think we can i think we can work this out i think if we can come to terms with what we couldn't come to terms with in the past i think we can have a harmonious relationship and i think it can be a 10. i think it can be the be all to end all Ace of Cups in the middle of your reading. This is what's on the table. Feelings. Feels everywhere. That's what's on the table. Feelings, right? New beginning in love and feelings. That's what this entire reading revolves around because the Ace of Cups is in the center of this spread. There is communication. Part of this communication is about the debauchery from the past, the bullshit, the shady behavior, the lying, the cheating, the stealing, whatever, right? Whatever it is for you, there is talk about what happened, about what this debauchery was. To the Queen of Wands, Queen of Wands is, well, I'm going to tell you, Queen of Wands is usually the other woman in my deck. Okay, and not in my deck, in, in my readings, okay? But I feel like this is dual purpose right here, dual purpose um, to justice, just to, just to give you a heads up, okay? So I think this, this discussion about the bullshit, the debauchery that happened in the past has, is twofold. I think it's about why this relationship did not achieve or succeed. And I also think it's an explanation of a third party situation of some sort take it where it sits for you okay if there was no third party situation 
um, whether it's love, work, career, family, whatever. If there was no third party situation, um, then it's definitely about why this relationship didn't make in the first place, why it didn't succeed and achieve in the first place. And there's justice brought to the situation. Justice can only happen when there's an injustice, right? An injustice being a lack of accountability, unfairness, dishonesty. Now there's justice being brought, accountability where there wasn't, honesty where there wasn't, and justice where there wasn't. So this conversation that you guys are going to have, this communication that's coming into you, spills the beans as to as to why it never worked for the for this other person perhaps it's an exchange but i really feel like it's this person vomiting their feelings all over you okay <laughs> vomiting their feelings you can tell i'm the queen of swords right i'm like Psst, just take your feelings someplace else <laughs> expressing their feelings okay to the princess of swords um again communication right more communication this goes right along with what i just read okay more communication with the princess of swords um more communication to the king of swords in reverse more communication about the debauchery more communication about why this didn't succeed or achieve in the past communication that's bringing justice to the situation communication about why this person was an asshole in the past. This King of Swords is about somebody who's angry. It's somebody who makes impulsive decisions. It's somebody who is abusive or misuses their power, right? Somebody's power in a relationship is over your feelings, right? Everybody, when we're in a relationship, we all have power over the other person's feelings because our, our, our words, our actions um, can affect the way somebody feels right so this communication the debauchery about i think it's this person's misuse of power the misuse of their power over your feelings in the relationship i do believe an, an apology is is happening here with the princess of swords and the eight of pentacles comes on top of this and says let's bury the hatchet let's engage let's work on this let's work it out let's work on it let's gain mastery of not only perhaps what the future can be but let's gain mastery of what happened in the past as well the queen of discs to the hierophant in reverse i feel this is twofold as well i think this queen of discs on one hand represents Taurus and um, if it represents Taurus this Queen of Discs to the Hierophant in reverse talks about releasing that this person or perhaps you somebody is releasing limiting beliefs about the situation this Hierophant in reverse is about your personal beliefs right the queen of disc being the queen of pentacles um represents um a, an earth sign taurus in this reading okay this is scenario one so taurus is trying to deal with their personal beliefs about this situation um and they're trying to gain freedom from their personal beliefs because up to this point their personal beliefs have been that this is over and done with and that this person is a snake and that you don't you're just not interested right but now it's like hmm hmm some serious truth has been spoken right so now taurus taurus the card of taurus the hierophant and the queen of pentacles um is is reevaluating what they believe about this situation and perhaps trying to gain some freedom about what they used to believe about the situation second scenario is that this person is telling you that they have released somebody that is that was um embedded in their life the queen of pentacles to me is always somebody that is embedded in somebody else's life this is the person that pays the electric bill this is the person that um, reminds you of your dental appointment right this is the person who you curl up next to and watch tv and eat dinner with at the end of the night this is the person the mama that's embedded in your life and the Hierophant in reverse talks about breaking free from commitment because this is commitment, this is freedom, 
okay so second scenario is that this person is sharing their feelings with you about how the person who was embedded in their life is not embedded in their life anymore take it how it sits two futility in the seven of pentacles um, and this is what brought me to the conclusion that perhaps this is the person that's communicating with you telling you that the person that was embedded in their life is no longer embedded in their life because we have the seven of pentacles in reverse this is limited success or reward in an investment that has been made right to futility actually futility to the seven of pentacles in reverse futility being futile there's no sense in putting in any kind of effort at all because it's not going to make it's futile it is a waste of time and i think this is dual purpose as well perhaps this person is telling you that the their relationship with this queen of pentacles person over here whoever this was that has ended was a complete waste of time and that they were um that they feel stupid for even trying to engage but also these two cards are telling me that taurus is wondering if it's futile to reinvest in this situation because there has been limited success and reward in the past this is also about lack of a long-term vision right taurus is wondering is it futile to even interact with this person because of your past experience right limited success and reward it was futile in the past what makes it any different now but the emperor is speaking some truth okay the emperor this is the card of aries could mean something could not really doesn't matter whoever this is for you despite what their astro sign is whoever this is for you you identify with this card you know who this is i don't care if this is aries it could be freaking capricorn for you but you know who this emperor is this is the person that is responsible for this entire spread right here this is the person that is sharing their emotions with you this is somebody that is approaching you that is going to change or upset the structure and the foundation of your life that's this person speaking their truth with the ace of swords this is the person that is speaking their truth to you this is also taurus considering the structure and the foundation of their life in regards to the communication that's come in and having absolute mental clarity about their their take on this whole situation what is it new beginning a new journey taking a quantum leap listening to your heart's desire following following your heart's desire an emotional rebirth right that's what this emperor wants they want an emotional rebirth and they have spoken their truth to you right strength taurus is going to need some strength to deal with all of this right I mean there 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 there's so much water under the bridge right and Taurus is apprehensive to say the least apprehensive to say the least why does Taurus need strength well because there was heartbreak sorrow pain grief and rejection in the past nine of Pentacles the whole thing has come to a culmination and Taurus is doing just fine Taurus is doing just fine self-sufficient independent doing just fine and Taurus is going to need strength because they're going to have to bring a culmination to their heartbreak from the past 
Six of Pentacles. Going to need some strength because this person wants to share with you. They want to exchange with you, right? Manifest. Should I manifest this? Should I not manifest this? What should I do? What should I do? Should I manifest this? Should I not manifest this? Should I take some inspired action? Or should I not take some inspired action? With the Prince of Wands and the Princess of Pentacles. What should I do? Right? Should I give and receive? Or should I not? Should I manifest this? Or should I not? Should I take inspired action? Or should I not? That's why you're going to need strength. Because in the past, there was heartbreak and sorrow and grief and rejection. And Taurus is just fine right now. But if you want to go forward, you're going to have to bring all of this to a culmination and tie it up and put it away. That's Therein lies the rub, right? Can you? I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. Wow, 30 minutes already. Yee. All right. Taurus. Taurus. Okay. So, Taurus. Taurus, let me back up. We're going to read these cards again right here, right? Let's read it in another way. Everything I said, still absolutely point on, right? Point on, it was meant to be said. However, you're going to need some strength to bring the heartbreak, the pain, to a culmination if you want to give and receive, if you want to manifest this. <laughs> Taking inspired action, right? This is a return of the communication, okay? Taking inspired action. Return of the communication. Because what's on the table is success. What's on the table is change in the dynamics of the relationship. What's on the table is the sun card. The happiness, success, vitality. Taurus is saying, maybe. Abundance. That's what's on the table. Abundance. The Empress, right? Abundance again. Taurus. Card of Taurus, card of Libra too, but we're talking about a Taurus read. This is the card of Taurus. This is you, right? Being the Empress to the universe. This is a change. This is the world card. This is a change in your life. One cycle ending, a new cycle beginning. To science. This is a card about irrefutable knowledge. Now you know. Truth has been spoken through this entire reading. Truth has been spoken to you about what happened, about what this person wants, about their expectations for the future, about burying the hatchet, new beginnings, new journeys, what they've been doing. I mean, truth is all over this reading. And now you know. Now you have the information that you need to make an absolute concrete decision about how you want to move forward in this whole situation. This is the science card. This is the, um, the Six of Swords, right, in the Thoth deck that I'm using. I love this card. You can't claim stupidity. You can't claim misunderstanding or ignorance. You have concrete, solid, irrefutable information that you can make a decision off of. Okay? So whether you make a decision and it blows up in your face or you make a decision and it goes beautifully, th the ball's in your court. You have irrefutable knowledge by which to make a solid decision about how you're going to move forward with this. And again, what's on the table? 
what's on the table success change happiness success vitality abundance Taurus in their power as the Empress abundance the universe a cycle change one cycle ending closing it out in a new cycle beginning with irrefutable undeniable information okay so Taurus is going into this let me get myself straight hmm. Taurus is going into this and here is the exchange of communication so the Prince of Wands back here was Taurus's passionate action right Taurus's inspired action because of what's on the table happiness success vitality you have all the information that you need to move into a new cycle okay now here is Taurus's inspired action this is the exchange of communication the Knight of Wands to the Prince of Swords okay this is communication this is Taurus returning communication okay to the person who initially brought all this communication the very first card right the, the the prince of cups right so this is the exchange of communication what this exchange entails is the addressing of the situation a very serious um, relationship lovers or otherwise a very serious relationship that's the subject matter right all right emperor i'm the empress you're the emperor let's talk about this let's lay this down i've heard everything that you have to say emperor now take a seat and listen to what i have to say that's what that's the exchange of information that's going on right here right let's lay it on the table this love relationship that you're proposing right here this 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 important relationship if it's not love okay this important relationship let's lay it on the table coming at it like the Queen of Swords right using emotion no not using emotion using logic and intellect and reasoning to work through this situation not being led by your emotions being led by your intellect right because now you have all the information that you need right now you need to disseminate it from the posture of the queen of swords you need to disseminate it work through it process it and spit it out from the posturing of the queen of swords right no bullshit let's put it all on the table now listen to how i feel about this situation to the Prince of Swords in reverse right I want to make sure you're just not being impulsive because I know you and I want to make sure that you're not just being impulsive this disregard for consequences this huge change this 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 rebirth that you've had about how you feel about me let's just make sure you're not being overly impulsive let's just make sure that you're not being scattered let's make sure you're not being scattered because you have a lack men oops I'm sorry they're upside down <laughs> because you have a lack mentality going on let's just make sure you're not doing this because you're lonely and you don't have any other options and you think just jump all over this situation let's just reevaluate your motivations real quick to the world in reverse this is about taking shortcuts okay let's just make sure you're not taking a shortcut because you're feeling kind of lonely let's just make sure that this passionate action that you're taking towards me is actually going to stick this time let's make sure that you're just not um, taking a shortcut okay to the four of swords in reverse let's make sure that this isn't all coming about because you're restless 
right? Because you have a lack of progress in any of the other options that you have in your life. Let's just make sure that you're not reaching out to me with all of these feels and throwing all this truth around because you are restless and you have a lack of progress in other aspects of your life. The sun in reverse. Let's just make absolutely crystal clear the fact that that this whole situation could be less than ideally optimistic. Let's just check your motivations. Two of Wands in reverse. Because you know what? Um, I want to make sure that your whole reason for reaching out to me is not for fear of the unknown. I want to make sure that your decision to reach out to me isn't because you're feeling insecure or because you just have a, a lack in your life. Snickers, stop. Let's just make sure that, that, that this is all. 100%. Let's make sure that you want to plan for the future and that you're not just approaching me because of your fear that you're alone right now. Snickers, child. Thank you. He's my dog. He's digging a bed, right? He's trying to get comfortable and he's digging a bed. Snickers. Four of cups. Let's just reevaluate this situation real quick. Let's reevaluate all of this. Let's reevaluate this situ situation real quick and make sure that you're not coming towards me just simply because you're dissatisfied in your current state of affairs. Ten of Wands in reverse. Let's make sure that you're not taking on too much because you know from our past go round what my expectations are. And my expectations don't include a fuckboy. My expectations don't include a player. I am Taurus. And my expectations are commitment. My expectations are equally giving and receiving. And I am not here just because you feel like being here at the, at the moment. If you're going to engage with me, you better realize what you're taking on because I am not about to play second fiddle to any kind of third party situation. And I'm not about to put up with one ounce of your bullshit. So you better be really, really sure that you are not over committing and taking on too much when it comes to a relationship with me. Because I might be the best you've ever had, but I will spin on my heels and walk away in a heartbeat if I feel unappreciated and God forbid you bring a third party situation into the whole damn thing. Seven of Pentacles in reverse, right? Is this worth investing in, Emperor? Is this worth investing in? Because you better make damn sure that you are all in. Because in the past, all we've had is lack of return in the situation. You better make damn sure that you have a long-term focus. Because in the past, all we've had is limited Limited interaction, limited reward, limited success, and lack of a long-term vision. Because I'm in it for the long haul. And if it ain't you, I can wait for somebody else. Temperance in reverse. Are we balancing this? This is, an, this is a misalignment of values. It's actually, it's actually self-healing. And it's turning a misalignment of values into values alignment, right? Are we on the same page? Are we on the same page? I am on page 28. Are you on page 28? Because on page 28, it says in big bold letters, Taurus is not fucking around. Are we on the same page? The star card. You want hope and faith and purpose and renewal with me? then you better be on the same page because I tell you what, I'm showing up as the queen of motherfucking swords and I am not playing with you, 
this time around. I know who you are, I know what you're capable of, and I am not playing with you, and I want you to be perfectly crystal clear that if you want hope, faith, purpose, and renewal with me, that this is who you're dealing with. I am removing my emotions from the situation, and I am going to tenaciously move forward with the tip of my sword about to break open your skin. Because if you fuck with me again, you are going to regret it this time around. Last time around, I tucked my tail and I walked away and chalked it up as a gigantic L. This time around, mm -mm, you come to me understanding everything that we just talked about. This time around, you better be damn sure that I'm coming at you as the queen of swords, right? I'm, I'm stern, but I'm flexible. And until you show me different, a different emperor than the one that I'm used to, the tip of my sword is going to be ready to break your skin at any minute. Look, this creates a turning point in the relationship between the empress and this emperor. It creates a turning point, right? What is this turning point? I don't know. Let's see. Okay. The turning point is the Eight of Wands, an energetic shift. Movement, action, swift change, an energetic shift in the relationship. It's a turning point in your life. It's a turning point in their life. It's a turning point in the relationship. A turning point, an energetic change, an energetic shift, right? Communication. The, everything that I just talked about, everything I just talked about is the communication that you send forward, right? The Princess of Swords, this is the return communication. And, and look, understand that... This Queen of Swords, you, Taurus, is getting returned information from the Princess of Swords. You know what this is? This is, yes, ma'am. This is, yes, ma'am. No other, no other explanation is needed because Taurus lays it on the line as the Queen of Swords, right? Lays it on the line. And the person on the receiving end, this Emperor, all they can say is, yes, ma'am. I'm on, yes ma'am, I'm on board, I'm in line, I know exactly what's expected of me in this situation. Yes ma'am. Communication. Turning point. Turning point. This one's first. Seven of Swords in reverse, right? Breaking free. Breaking free of all of the bullshit that used to be breaking free from it all, to the Two of Wands, moving into the future, planning for your future, decisions, discovery, progress. Because, because of yes, ma'am. We're on the same page, yes, ma'am. I understand, yes, ma'am. I'm willing, ready, and able, yes, ma'am. This is a contrite, 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 response. Not sure if that's the right terminology, but this is somebody who is very simply, um, humbly, it's a humble response. It's a humble response that says, um, yes. And that's all that you need, right? Because you'll be able to see it in this person's face. You'll be able to feel it in their energy. And all you need is a yes. We're on the same page. Let's move forward, right? Because this person's already spoken their truth all over the place. They don't need to speak their truth again. They just need to agree, and they are, right? They are breaking free of all the bullshit and moving into the future. Wow, Taurus, that was almost an hour-long reading. Holy cow, but there you go. That is, uh, that's what's going on, and it's interesting. Um, I wish I could resonate with this reading. I do. I wish I could resonate with this reading. Um, but my King of Wands, um, 
that ain't going to happen for me. Right? And that's the difference. That's why, the, 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 I mean, I am the reader, and this reading isn't even for me. Right? I'm the reader, and this reading isn't even for me. That's why it's so important to dig in and see what the dynamics are of your own personal journey. Um, I wish this was my reading. I really do. I wish this was my reading, but it's not going to happen for me because of my particular situation with my particular King of Wands. Um, it's just not ever going to happen that way. However, it's nice to know that it might happen that way for some of you. So that being said, deepthoughtswithdana.com if you want a personal reading. Um, if not, take it with a grain of salt and uh, carry on. Okay. Namaste, Taurus.